Web Reader is a fantastic tool. Let's look at some scenarios of how you can use this set of features. Expand the Web Reader by clicking on the tab. Lessons Students like to stream and listen to lessons offline. To stream your lesson, click on the Web Reader button and click Listen. If you only want to listen to part of the lesson, then highlight that area of the lesson and click on Listen. To pause the reader, click on Pause, and to stop the reader, click on Stop. You can also download your lesson to a MP3 file and listen to it offline. Distracted Reader If you are a distracted reader, then we have the tools for you. First, we can use Simple View. Access your lesson and click on the carrot in the lower left corner of the Web Reader button. Click on Simple View. Notice that you now have the document in a plain text form in a pop up window. To return to the original document, click on Close in the pop up window. Another tool is the Page Mask. The Page Mask is a customizable window with the area above and below the window shaded out. This is similar to using a cutout window on a sheet of paper to move up and down your paper textbook. To turn off the page mask, click on the X. Text size not large enough? If you have low vision or have eye strain, then the enlarge text function will be a great benefit to you. To use this tool, click on the enlarge text button, highlight the text, and then click on listen. The enlarged text will appear at the bottom of the screen. Let's listen. Your institution most likely has other learner supports available. When you turned on the enlarged text feature, there is a green dot on the tool. When you turn off the tool, the green dot disappears. To turn off the enlarged text, navigate back to the enlarged text button and click on the enlarged text button again. Increasing your vocabulary. If you are learning a new language, then use the translation tool. Highlight the word or phrase that you want to translate, click on the translate button and select your desired language. A pop-up window will appear with the translation. For example, Suppose we need to translate the word study to Spanish. Highlight the word study, click on translate, and select Spanish. We now have the translation. If you encounter a word that you don't know what it means, then you can use the word lookup feature. Highlight the word, and click on the word lookup button. A pop-up window will appear with a definition. For example, suppose we don't know what the word study means. Highlight the word study and click on word lookup. Notice that we can also listen to the definition. And there are even more features. Give it a try and explore all the features of WebRater.